Welcome back, everybody. For the first 13 years of his life, our next guest lived a normal childhood. But by the age of 13, his family and friends noticed he seemed to be losing his coordination. At first, they just wrote it off to adolescent clumsiness. But as the symptoms progressed, it became apparent something was very, very wrong. Kyle Bryant would eventually be, di would be diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia. It's a rare degenerative condition uh, causing loss of muscle control. Kyle joins us now to talk about uh, something. Uh, it, it's a journey, and, yes. and, uh, and you've actually turned it into a journey. Yeah. Uh, you have found that riding uh, uh, a recumbent trike has has really helped you regain your confidence in, in life. Yeah, well, I like to think of it as turning my adversity into opportunity. You know, I took I took my adversity that I was I was given and I I transformed it into an opportunity to do to do something really great for myself and for lots of other people by doing a bike ride. Um, our first bike ride was San Diego, California to Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. 2,500 miles in 59 days. And uh, all to raise money and awareness for a rare disease, Friedrich's ataxia, which I have. Well, now, you were 13 when you first were, were uh, when, when it became apparent there was right. something going on. How did you physically feel? What manifested in your mind and your body at the time? Well, it, it was really my dad noticed it when I was playing baseball, um, and and we all came to notice it um, after after he did. And my throws were going off target a little more, mm -hmm. and I was unable to run down a fly ball in the background in, or in the outfield. The the ball bounced a whole lot. You know, it's a it's a coordination thing, mm -hmm. and and so it, it it was hard to stay stable you know while playing sports and stuff and and that's one of the things that that i miss the most is all my sports and so it was a true blessing to be able to find this tricycle and and be able to get back in in lead an active lifestyle um in the face of this disease uh, you now it's similar to uh, muscular dystrophy it's it's a form is it not but in, in a way it's also different yeah, it it has a lot of similar symptoms. In fact, it's a, it is a form of muscular dystrophy, um, but it but it has different causes than a lot of the other other diseases. Um, it also has similar diseases or similar symptoms to MS, mm -hmm. but it has a much different cause. Okay, so very obviously a very frustrating situation to have to live with, but you've taken this and you've really turned it into a positive situation. You've, you've been lauded by all kinds of people from all walks of life, and, and you've just received a, a wonderful award as well. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, the, the mayor of Tampa actually proclaimed um, Friday, September 25th as International Ataxia Awareness Day, and it's going on in different cities all around the U.S. and internationally that people are proclaiming September 25th as International Ataxia Awareness Day. And it's really a great thing because it just boosts the awareness for all these diseases and for FA specifically because really we are a very rare disease but affecting a lot of great people. Well, you know, and if, and if we don't personally have someone in our families with uh, perhaps a disability, we all know somebody who mm -hmm. does. What, what's your encouragement? What do you say to folks who are, who are dealing with, with uh, adversity like this? Well, for me, it's really important to push myself to the limits. I'm, I'm very aware that there are limits to myself, but, but I, I tend to tilt the line and, uh, and push myself to those limits and, and try and accomplish more and more each time I go out on my trike or um, or in different areas, uh, you might notice that I have a little bruise here above mm -hmm. my eye. It's from, it's from my attempt at surfing in Southern California with one of my friends a couple weeks ago. And so in, in everything I do, I try and push the limits and, and see how much further I can take it. And that's my encouragement to anyone with any disability. Kyle Bryant, thank you very much for being here. We wish you the best in, in all of your efforts and, and, and your fights, and we wish you, again, the very, very best of luck. We appreciate you being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right. For more information on Kyle and his story and his cause, you can go to daytimeonline.tv. Coming up, well, we'll be right back, and we've got more daytime right after this.